Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome into your weekend reading from the 23rd until the 24th of October. We are going to be checking in what is going on between you and whomever we're going to be picking up on you, another person. And then we're going to see where are you guys going from this point? What is coming in for you and this person? Remember, this can be anybody. It can be an ex-person. It can be somebody that you're currently with or even somebody that you might be interested in. So let's see what comes up here. I'm going to call in your spirit guides as well. That's why I'm burning these herbs here to call them in. And we're going to ask them during the reading to give us some deeper insights or give us some information or even to show us what they see with regards to this connection as well. Well, so let's get started. I'm going to get two Moonology cards out here. One for your person, one for you. Remember, if I say this is your person and this is you, you can reverse that around because it is a general reading. Um, otherwise, if the reading doesn't resonate, also check your rising, check your moon and check your Venus. Usually when you come into a, into a reading, even if everything doesn't resonate with you, um, there's a specific message you're supposed to get from your spirit guide. So uh, let's get into this because these are not personal readings that we do. These are general reading so we are picking up on a lot of different energies that come up here so wow this is so interesting a lot of i've noticed in a lot of the readings in the past week or two a lot of problems are getting solved so this looks pretty good here you know um it's a, a personal issue who reaches resolution a full moon in cancer so something is up here in your person's energy there could be a problem that is is they dealing with and it seems like they're going to solve this problem i don't know if this problem is associated with you Okay, and with this energy disseminating moon, take time to breathe out. So I kind of feel like in your energy, you, you're okay. You're like, you're not in a bad place. This is the vibe I'm getting. So I'm wondering what's this personal issue? Does this have something to do with you? Or is this, you know, are you even connected to this person? So this is quite an interesting reading because on this side here by your energy, I feel like you're okay. You haven't got like major love drama that's happening or anything like that right now. So I'm even feeling it. This could possibly be somebody that you are not with yet. Or it can even be somebody that you know that is not, that may be interested in you. And you may not even realize it. I'm just saying. Because uh, i got a funny vibe coming up in the reading. So I want to go deeper into this person's pers the energy. And then also into yours. And we'll be able to see exactly what is this. Because I feel like you're okay. You just you're just like doing your thing. You're working on your own self, dealing with your own emotional things that you deal with. You know, we live life, but it's not. I'm not picking on up anything that's like there's a major drama happening here. So let's have a look and see. You got an emperor energy here, interesting, which is Aries' energy, which literally we had Aries in full moon on Wednesday. When I release these on a Friday, this will be Wednesday. Aries full moon. Sometimes this can indicate work situations, okay? Like when you're at work or like business or something like that. Let's have a look and see. Seven of voices. There is something going on with this person. And I feel like it could be associated to you in some kind of way. But they've got an issue that they're dealing with here. Oh my. And as I'm saying this, Spirit God says, when they finish dealing with this issue, they plan on reaching out to you. They plan on this. You know who this person is. You, you know this person. This person is, you're single. Okay. This person knows you. And um, you know them. You may know them through work contacts or at work. Okay, but there's something going on with them. I've got to stop before I take your cards out because I want to just find out what is going on with them. There is a situation that's occurring that's got to do with their work situation or money or stability at work or something like that. And they've been having it. The problem has been going on for a little bit of a while now. Um, they may be looking for new work or trying to look for new employment where they are currently. You may know them from there and they may be looking for a new employment or something like that. Or there's a problem that they're trying to solve. It's been going on a while because of the Seven of Swords being here. And with the Seven of Swords being here as well, <clears throat> they don't want to do something wrong. So they don't want to repeat some problem that's going on with them. I feel like because it does say a personal issue 
reaches resolution. So I feel like this might actually, you might even know this person and know that they're going through a bit of drama with regards to something at work or finances or employment or something. And um, they actually interested in you or there's something that's going to happen between you and this person. Okay, let's see what this is. Let's see what Spirit Guide will show us. Yeah, definitely. King of Pentacles, their own life. This is there's there's an instability here. They're unstable in some way in their own life. You know, um, because this emperor, it's a very strong energy, okay? It's very, very strong. And it also talks about working, it talks about money, it talks about business, it talks about employment, all those kinds of things. And um, with the King of Pentacles in the reverse position, this can be even for some of you out there, somebody that you know, and this person is interested in you, but they may be currently be unemployed and they are looking for employment. And this is what makes them not make any move towards you. It's like, I need to get this sorted. There is something here that's going on with regards to their life and it's keeping them very uh, busy. Remember something we just had, we've been through some really tough times this year. We were a lot of um, retrogrades happening. 2020 was like retrograde year. We went into Jupiter retrograde sometime in June and then we had two Mercury retrogrades and that whole during that entire time of the June retro, uh, Mercury retro, uh, July, Jupiter retrograde okay we had two Mercury retrogrades and both of these retrogrades Mercury and Jupiter ended on Monday and um, these things are talking about repetitive cycles that keep on happening and Jupiter in particular when it gets into retrograde it can cause a problem with life with regards to finances and money and business and success and employment and all those kinds of things. It's almost like no matter what you try to do, it kind of like keeps you frozen in one spot. And I, I kind of pick this up here. There's something going on in their life, but you know this person, you know them, and they will uh, come out of this. And when they do, I feel like they, there could be something going on between the two of you. Yeah, you got an ace of wands in your energy. Let's see what's coming up. You're not with anyone right now. Five of voices. You're just doing your own thing. You're dealing with your own life, your own. I think you're also healing from a heart heartbreak as well. Seeing the ace of wands being there. Something disappointed you here. Something, and I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like it's somebody else. Um, this energy of the Ace of Wands in the reverse position, it's something that started and you might have had a little bit of a thing with somebody, a fling <laughs> kind of a vibe. Somebody came in here very quickly and somebody came left very quickly and it wasn't very, when you guys were together, the Five of Swords here, it wasn't very um, smooth between the two of you. There was a lot of fighting, a lot of kind of conflict, a lot of disagreements. I feel like this person lost interest and pulled out. That's why you might be having this take time to breathe out. You're almost like, oh, I'm recovering from this energy. But this, I feel like, is your next love, hey? I feel like this is another person. Maybe you're still going to meet this person. I don't know. Maybe they get a job at your company or your workplace. You know what I'm saying? Um, because this is after they sort whatever this is out to them, that personal issue. I feel like this is why Spirit Guides is showing us this. Let's see what they say about all of this or in your energy. Queen of Pentacles, you are okay. You see, ooh, and you literally got a King and Queen of Pentacles in your reading. The king and the queen of pentacles. You see, um, you are, you're okay. Financially wise, money wise, you've got a life going. You know, sometimes we, we're not as okay as we want to be. But I've got, uh, my oldest daughter is Virgo and she's very practical. So whenever I like worry about money and I'm like, oh, I'm worried about money. I'm worried about money. And she'll always just look at me and say, really? You're worried about money? And I'm like, yes, I'm worried about money. And she's like, are you eating right now? And I'm like, yes. Um, do you have a roof over your head? I'm like, yes. You got income? Yes. Uh, are you safe? Yes. Uh, do you have Wi-Fi? Yes. Other people don't even have Wi-Fi. What are you complaining about? You know, and then I get a wake up call. So you're okay. You're okay. They not okay. Okay. So you have to, when you guys meet each other, it's when they become okay. When they do that, then you're perfectly matched. Something is going to happen here because this is problem that they have is going to be solved. When they solve this problem, yeah, they come into your world. You might know them, but for some of you also as well, you might not know them or you might get to know them. Maybe they're like, they come and work 
in your company or they come work where you're working, that kind of thing. Or you meet them because they got a new job, you know, that kind of vibe. I'm just going to leave the King of Pentacles in the upright position. I feel like it. I want to bring them good luck. Okay, maybe they'll get employment from us redoing this reading. If this is your person, come on, they need to come right because you're waiting for them. You know what I mean? King and Queen of Pentacles, literally divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Perfect uh, couple energy. So let's see. Where can this all go? What's coming up here next? Let's have a look. Watching clouds, lie back, rest and relax. This is advice for you. It's very much similar to the advice that's there. Take time to breathe out. Just like, whoo, chill. Take a chill pull. Relax. Don't do anything. This person's coming to you. You're not, you don't have to go look for anyone. Okay. Someone's coming into your life. You don't have to go out there and go search. You don't have to go on a dating site somewhere they're coming. So you lie back, you rest, you relax, you take care of yourself, you heal yourself from any of your past pains that you may have experienced, things that people have done to you, let that all go, heal it, release it, forgive yourself, forgive them, go through that process, you know, but you're so strong, stable-wise, life-wise, maybe emotionally, still sometimes it gets to you, you know, things that have happened in life, but you don't have to do anything to meet this person, they're coming. So they're coming into your life. You just do what you're doing now. I kind of feel like when it also says um, take time to breathe out and lie back, rest and relax. I feel you're in the right place. You're, you're in the right place. You're doing the right thing. You're going to the right places to meet them. They're not in the right place. They have to do something to fix this. And then they're going to go from where they are into a new place where you're going to be. So it's not like you have to go looking. Okay. They're going to just be there. They're going to come into your world. Now, every new person you meet, you're just going to be like, hmm. Remember, they got this, um, they've had some kind of issue with maybe employment or something with regards to stability. So when they start to tell you, oh my gosh, I've been looking for work for so long, you'll be like, oh boy, this could be them. You know what I mean? Let's see what will come up here. What is coming in? Find balance. There you go. You have to wait for this moment. Hold on. You have to hold on. This is the two of pentacles. You have to wait for them to come in. The fine balance is literally the two, two of pentacles, the, the juggling energy. And it's like, yeah, we know you're waiting for someone to come in your life. You're waiting to meet someone. But just wait a little bit longer. Wait a little bit longer. Something that you don't know. Okay, and it's this. Let's see what else comes in. And you've got a new beginning. And trust this reading. My goodness, guys, spirit guides, hello. Um, this is a reading. You're, you're a fool card. It's, they're saying literally, uh, hold on a little bit longer. Trust us, you know. Um, there is a new beginning coming. There is a new beginning coming. Hold on a little bit longer. And you don't even have to do anything. Just keep doing what you're doing on your daily basis. Because this is the person who is going to make the changes to come into your life and meet you. This has got to be the best reading I've done for Taurus in forever. The way that Spirit Guides is kind of like explaining how this is going to happen. I love it so much. My goodness. So Spirit Guides, thank you so much. <laughs> um, show us what we need to see. Uh, Two of Wands energy is coming up here. And I've seen this as you don't know what I've seen. Wait, uh, you've got a Lavis card that I've seen as well. Oh my gosh. What else have I seen here? Strength card has come in as well. This is Leo's energy. Yeah, it's basically, I'm picking up Leo and Aries here. And then we've also got Cancer on this side here as well. Uh, Two of Wands energy. Decisions will be made by this person, this reading. Decisions are going to be made by them. That's going to lead them onto a new path. Even the way the person is standing, holding this this world here. It's usually, in the, it's like a globe, you know. And they're standing, looking into the distance. And if you put it in the reverse position, it's literally coming into your world. And Page of Cups, I saw those cards. I couldn't deny. They just kind of flipped in my hand. This person is definitely coming in towards you. One of you could be a bit younger than the other one. One of you could be a little bit younger than the other one. And... Gemini's energy, the lover's card. Literally, trust that the lover's card is coming into your world. you got a full card here with the lover's card on top of it. It's just, I don't even know what to say. This is a nice reading. You just have to trust that this energy is coming in for you. That there is a new beginning that's about to start. All you got to do is get on with your life and allow this person to do what they need to do. Because they will find their strength. 
I feel like right now they're in this kind of weaker space here with the King of Pentacles that was in the reverse position. Even the personal issue that they're trying to solve, the Seven of Voices shows that they've been, or Seven of Swords shows that they've been trying to solve it for a while. And with the Strength card coming in here, they're going to regain their strength by decisions that they make. They may even, it's like they've got two paths to choose. They might even have two choices. So if they're looking, say, for employment, they may end up literally have two choices between two jobs. But trust that they're going to choose the right one, the one that will bring them to you. Or two choices about something, and they're going to take one part that literally leads to you. And that's how it works. It's a divine unfolding of things that need to happen. And they will happen. So all we have to do is hold on and wait for so, certain events to come into our life on a specific date. Remember, it doesn't matter what age you are, your entire lifetime is not lived at the age of 33 or 27. You know, you got 27, you got 28, you got 29, so you're going to meet this person. Not that I'm saying it's going to take years, okay? But just hold on a bit longer. If it is showing in the cards right now, it indicates that this energy is very close to you. There we go, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming into the reading. I am really wishing you the best going forward. This is a very beautiful reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.